going on, people? Welcome to United View and welcome to a full view like no other. Mm. This is mad. But this is crazy. Cam's here, bro. <laughs> I, I'm here. Look I at know this. Why, why did you not separate us? Distance. Like this? Nah, we need distance. Was that a HR discussion? We need distance. This is mad. This is a promo for the boxing match that's gonna come up. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I, 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 I wanted to have a, like a different kind of match, like because now I'm getting fitter. Yeah. Yeah. I think it should be a range of competitions. Okay. <laughs> CrossFit. Kickups. Okay. Yeah, CrossFit for no reason. <laughs> Basketball. Oh, bad at that. Badminton. Badminton. What's Killing. Yeah. Cam's not got a chance. You call that Babin? Nah, nah. There you go. <laughs> table tennis? That's, table um, tennis is a good shot. I think you'll table probably tennis. be right at that. Said, yeah. What, because I went to the kind of school that I went to? No, because you did you <laughs> like, like working with you tonight. What? Okay, I thought. There you, you go. So say sorry to me. Center. Say All sorry right, to cool, me. Cool, cool. Say sorry to me, though. I'm not saying sorry. You don't say, oh, you don't say sorry to me. <laughs> you don't right. can see what this is already going to be like, innit? You can see. But we're here with Cam live in the flesh. We saying, bro, you good? Yeah, good. Great to be here again. Yeah, 100%. DJ, what are you saying? Live in the flesh with the bros. Come on. Don't get much better. Were you saying, Owen? Live in the flesh, yeah. I was thinking, I'll tell you what, they've used up my lines immediately. <laughs> uh, flesh live. Yeah. Yes, yeah. there you go. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm hearing it. Yeah. I'm here, bro. Here a, lot, a lot is going on, fam. A a lot. People outside my house talking about signings, fam. That's why I'm just letting people know what to expect. <laughs> there you go. What, what about you, Faz, bro? you there? I'm here, man. Yeah, I'm here. It's beautiful to be uh, around everyone in the... And especially next to Mr. Positivity, so yeah, it's good. <laughs> what are you saying, Marcel? You got some positivity today? I'm happy to be here, man. It's so good to see everyone. <laughs> I'm genuinely happy to be here. And we're about to talk about, you know, just looking forward to it today, 100%. man. hundred percent. Right, so really, there's not really an agenda on the cards here because I feel like for the first time with us linking up, you should be able to say what you want to say. Do you know what I'm saying? But I know that these guys haven't really had their say about the Richard Arnold thing mm. and how they feel about it. I want to start with Marcel on this. Cool. Um, we've had our say this morning, me and Owen. Yeah, um, so you show. guys at home know. Good yeah, show. thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Well put together. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Marcel, what was? How you feeling about it? Well, firstly, you know, I think all of us have said it. Like that kind, you know, the fact that it came out and the manner that it came out wasn't the best. But at the end of the day, I think it's. I feel like he's trying. I, you know, there's there's a positive things to take from what he said there. You know, the training ground needs changing. We all know that. We we definitely all know that. And we were very worried about if there was a budget. He said that, you know, the money could be available there. So it could have been PR. He could have been, you know, just trying to give us lip service as fans. But at the end of the day, guys, I think, you know, there's the the budget is there available for Ten Hag. He wants to get Ten Hag's targets. So there's there's so many good things to take from that. I mean... With, you know, and he's trying to, and he has to undo the long, bad, in, incompetent business that Edward has been doing. So, you did know, did it make you feel? Did it make you feel calmer about the transfer window, having heard that? Forget I don't know how it happened. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But the fact that those words came out of his mouth, did it make you calmer about a transfer window? I was always, or? I was always calm. That's what I mean. Did it make you even more? <laughs> relaxed? Uh, then, if, even deeper into my zen, <laughs> never in doubt. Never even in deeper doubt. into my zen, <laughs> more porridge. More breakfast. I was happy because at the end of the day, I know that at least he's trying for the club. He... Oh, oh, come on. Sorry, I did. I just, sorry, he pressed that. Come on, <laughs> Sorry, 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 sorry. He, You know, he wants to change the, tra he wants to change the training ground. Mm. You know, he wants to add things part of the legacy that would be right for the club. So he's saying the right things. Proof is in the pudding though. Penultimately, yeah. Flex. Proof and guys, proof is in the pudding. Is but it? For, yes, you 100%. seem to be already... No, 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 no. Believing in this. <laughs> no, no, because that's the way to go. You've got to believe in what he's saying the right things and you've got to believe in that. Why, why take the negative stance on what he's saying? What he's saying is a positive thing and we've got to believe in that, guys. And, and that's, that's a good way to mark his accountability by saying, look, this is a positive thing that you're saying. You now sound so much like a politician. So much a politician. Do you, have, what, do you, well, let's say, do you disagree with what Marcel was saying? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. There's, there's, there's no other way... For all you know, the man was scared. Mm. People turned up to his house. He just bought everyone drinks just to say anything to them, just, just so they kind of leave him alone and his family alone. This is a man uh, high up on the biggest, one of the biggest football clubs in, the world, in yeah. the world and people have just turned up to his house. And 
in 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 pictures you see the people are just stood like like sat like this they don't even they're not even bothered to even like pay have a proper conversation they're recording him whatnot this man could have just said something just to calm the fans down so you think it was just lip service to diffuse the could situation have been, yeah you, nobody actually knows what he said is either true or false or or is what he's going to do or not some parts of it he said it now now it puts more pressure on him the club but then he could have been saying it so that these people kind of don't turn up to his house next week uh, if the frankie de Jong deal doesn't happen they think oh he looks good so he's off the he's off the hook Come on, you just believe everything that you see or someone says. No, but actions are going to tell us yeah. which direction this club goes. 100%. If and when this club buys someone and sells someone, that's when we know. Other than that, anybody can get it at any time. So would you say then, if you're saying that actions will speak louder than words, doesn't that imply that you have to wait to see said actions, therefore wait and see? Yeah, yeah, I'm you waiting. Just said. Yeah, I'm waiting. The window's... <laughs> That is what you've just said. That, that is what you've just said. You Thank just, you you've just said you'll have to see about actions. Therefore, you will have to wait and see said I'm actions. I'm getting tired of porridge every day, but I'm waiting. I agree with Faz, though. I agree with Faz in a sense of the man was clearly under duress in it. I wish it was done. It would have been more believable if it came, if it was done in a proper way by the club. Would it even have happened? Was, we wouldn't have. We right. wouldn't have believed. Yeah. So these are all the things to consider when we look at sort of that interview or that chat that he's had. You know, the man's under duress. People have come to his, well, go into his house or whatever, you know, Again, it's very hard to kind of pick through what he said and find out what is truth, what was lip service. I guess there's an element of truth in most of it, I'll be honest. Mm. Maybe he exaggerated some things. Maybe some things are further along than what we believe. But, you know, I just wish it happened in a, in a better way. In yeah. a better way. And then, then I think it would be taken, especially from people like Faz, myself, it would be taken a bit more wholesomely, innit? Like it's yeah. actually... You know, i got a different... It's mad. I, I looked at the whole thing, right? And it, you look at the shades of what's happened before. Woodward never spoke to anyone. That's yeah. one thing we could all guarantee and agree. And then, then even when, and it was his right, when they pulled up to Woodward's house, he called the feds immediately, yeah? This guy, what you can see that Arnold wants to do it different, yeah? That, that's the one thing that we can say, you know, is true. He wants to be different, even in the moment where he, in his tongue and cheek, but he's like, when he spoke about signing, yeah. he's like, do you want me to... <laughs> does, that do ring a, does that ring a bell? Yeah. Does that ring a bell? <laughs> and he's like, so one thing I can say about him is he understands everything that's gone wrong. Because one thing we, we've been wondering, like, can they not see this? Yeah. Mm. You know, we always argue, it's like, the Glazers don't care. But finally, at least we can say there's someone that knows everything we've done wrong. He said we burnt through fucking To this point, cash. Yeah. we burnt through cash. Yeah. You can't tell. We burnt through cash. <laughs> <laughs> burnt through Where's cash my billion quid? <laughs> can't see your carrot. Yeah, he said you can't, can't see it anywhere. I can't goes, see my billion of carrots and can I? You can't see anything here. So it's it's honest though. The, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, there's no lies told in that moment. So that that makes me feel good. No, yeah. do you, finally... really, you you was one of the ones like yeah. you you know you're going on Red Wednesdays yeah. you you you're doing time to panic. I'm, I'm, you, you've been yeah. doing the madness this last fifteen days, yes, yeah. yeah. or last seven days. He yeah. called me, yeah, and I've called you've called Owen. One hundred percent. I'm not saying yeah. you're wrong. How do you feel now? You've seen that exactly the I same. I feel a bit better. No, I feel better because lip service is lip service is in, the reason why That's I say this. Lovely. Yeah, lip <laughs> service is important. There's a reason oh. why at the end of a game they go to the manager and say they ask him questions, and then he says next game will be better. We, we, we lost every game after you said this game would be better, but we still in, we needed that. We need to hear from the manager to know where we are. Like, you, end of the day, without communication, we're finished. I need to know exactly what we're trying to do. Yeah. So at least now he says, ah, oh, them lot are working on a deal. He's put a lot of pressure on Myrtle and Bletcher by right. Good. Yes. Put the pressure on yes. them. However, they now, I, while I do feel better, I'm just going to like, it's here because it'll take if, if other signings. If people go to other clubs, I will be upset. I'm not going to lie. Gonna oh, really? <laughs> if people go to other clubs, I will be upset. Oh, I can't really? It's not our business. No, it's but not I'll our be business. upset. No, because I don't want to miss out on our... He must have a list Tenok of doesn't our targets. Tenok doesn't want him. Take Surely out your the mind. good players will be good players for other people, right? Yes. We're going to have players that both teams want. Like, we're going to... our good. It's not like we know these players and nobody else does. Mm. But, KG, do you know how many people we've been linked with in this transfer Oh, I day? saw that list. Yeah, yeah. Over, over 80. Yeah. No, but the real, I'm talking about the like, cause Schrager, he was Schrager, bro. It's peak fam. <laughs> he, like, he's had a, you got, he's son, had a, he's had you got son by Fabrizio. Yeah, 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 he's yeah, had yeah. a couple bad But then no, but he was like, this is real information. This mm. is not lies. The Vettina thing, he's like, I'm telling you right now, that Vettina deal was real. Yeah, but then you could say, but who told you that deal was real? His agent. Yeah. He's, well, he, according to Schrager, he's sounding like, he, he's got different information, but the last thing I will say quickly on the Frankie Young thing is, 
it's why I've kind of relaxed a bit more now is purely because I understand this is um, this is our manager's decision. Yes, it's not. Um, it's our manager's decided that he. Yeah. What are we trying to? Was no, 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 sorry, no, no, just, no. I was getting. I'm just, no, 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 no. You don't know. I'm just. I'm just. Check, it, it is Groundhog Day apparently because KG. No, this is our manager's No, because when I was trying to I say that, it. I was trying to say that you were you it. shutting me down. I didn't believe it. I didn't believe it. So I'm doing apology then. It. No. What do you mean? No. Yeah, and why are you giving I him was saying, him I was no, literally I, saying on no, the thing. I, honestly I was like, believe what it. I said, what happened to you? Well, just, just believe in, we always have no, to believe in why. If Ten Hag says, I don't care, keep, because now all the reports have been saying, all the reports have been saying now, yeah, that Ten Hag basically won't move on until we actually get him. But because he believes he's, he's that control. integral. He's, and Cam's yeah. done a wicked spread on him. Mm. I had to like he put out a buffet on him. But he done what I sports. He's done something for Sport Bible. In depth. But I didn't see this in control. You have to understand, I'm allowed to feel burnt. Oh, we've had managers be here yeah. that are not in control. So, so what I'm makes saying, you believe he's in control now? Because of Rich Young basically saying like, the, man the manager, yeah. Just because we put free cash. Just because, <laughs> no, just because, just because. And then the reason why the deal was so important, the reason, because someone asked me before, we're getting Timber, and I said, well, you have to knock down that pin. If he, if he, if he bring in that, um, De Jong, mm. yeah, and Timber's now, because he can now say to Timber, listen, he's here as well. LVG can't drop the both of you. See, he'll be, that's like taking, it's getting to extreme lengths. Just imagine. <laughs> LVG sabotage. Just imagine, <laughs> um, just imagine Frankie Dion <laughs> plays bit part, yeah? yeah? And then you, if there's two there, you can't take the piss. But yeah. if, there's, if there's no one there, yeah. he's finished. Frankie Dion ain't playing, he, he bit playing bit part though, is yeah. Plus Donny, plus, plus, no, Donny, plus Donny. But this is what I'm saying now. If he's had, if he has Frankie Dion, I can at least say to Timber, look, Dion's here. Yeah. I'm telling you, mm. you're going to be fine in this squad. Because yeah, that's yeah. all Timber's worried about. Yeah. It's a bit nuts we haven't been able to convince him he's not going to get more game yeah, time than Wamba Saka it, Dallow real, or one of the centre-halves. Because he, he needs a leader. If Frankie, yeah. if Frankie De Jong says, he's saying, well, Frank, what's LBG going to do now? LBG yeah. could do a madness still. But yeah, he might just pick Frankie more. and still leave out Timber, like he said. Didn't yeah, it? but for Timber, his agent's whispering down his ear that you are guaranteed. Yeah. Get, you, you are guaranteed if you just if stay. If you play every game. Yeah. But yeah. he needs... Yeah. But you're not guaranteed if you come you to United. Might yeah. come back for him in January. No, he only. That's but I don't horrible. want it. This. No, I'm not saying that's right. I'm just that's saying horrible. because Tim because Timber decides stop he this. don't want to come. Stop. Then this. we might be forced to. Can no, you bring it? Do you in not think to stop this? I don't know. Not not necessarily. It, it all depends on no Timber, innit? If, if, if it could. Comes, I don't, I don't think the Frankie think, deal would have turned into Timber. Yeah. No, if Timber decides he wants assurances because the World Cup's okay, so November, by the way. So how much is Timber? What is what they're saying about thirty between thirty right. and forty million? But, again, it right. for, but, but 40, it's not. Right? It's not. But it's not a price issue with Timber, is it? It's mm. a. Pr it's an issue of him wanting to play games. So back you in his think, own mobility. Back yeah. in his own mobility. If he thinks, if he thinks, if he thinks I'm nineteen game, years of age, yeah. I've only got eight. I've only got eight appearances by the yeah. way for Holland. Yeah. I ain't a season pro. Yeah. I've only just got in. He's the kids within his right to say, boy, you know what, Eric, let me just stay here. Pick up the phone to my agent. Talk to Ajax in January. Yeah, and LVG can just go. There'll be other World Cups, mate. You're young. Yeah. He's scared. He's scared. Of course he's got he he's, 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 being, he's being marginalised purely because man. But if there's two, um, if there's two Dutch players here, I think it will. I think it really changes it. Um, no, because if he doesn't play, he's still think, in the same I think, boat. Yeah, I think that's LVG's clear. If yeah. How is he not playing? I think it's guys. irrelevant. What are we I know, about? but he's already made Look that decision. Look at the centre backs though. If they've got Van Dijk, they've got De Vrij, they've got De Ligt. Where's he getting in that? Even Ake. He's not, he's not playing for Netherlands because he's not good enough. That's the reality. And I don't. We we want to sign him, but why? Is he even going to start? If we don't know for a fact he's going to start. Why are we signing him? Because he is going to start. Because he is better than the current players that we have. Because he is going to be able to at least deliver a ball inside. Not panic, not slide tackle like crazy. We've let this, this thing go with, with, with the wing backs. Mm. Except for Shaw, I'm not keeping none of them. Yeah, We're not fair. keeping none of them. Yeah. So, so is he... You have to each player in the position in Manchester United, the players that we're bringing in, are they better than the players that we have? Yes or no? It's come simple as mm -hmm. is Timber better than the wing backs that we have now? Yes or yes, no? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yeah, from the Cam, you saying that? Yeah, no, Timber, Timber's not good enough. That's the reality. If, it, if we're convincing mm -hmm. him he's going to play games, if we're there telling him you are going to start games, he's on that first plane over. If he knows for a fact he's first choice at right back, he's coming. So we've obviously not convinced him. But does that mean that he's not good enough, or what? Do you you don't think Ten Hag's giving him the reassurances because he's not sure if he's better than Dallow or no, one second? If you've got if you've got Eric Ten Hag telling you you're going to play every game for Man United, yeah, obviously he's not going to be worried about what Van Hal's saying. There's only he's only going to be thinking about that if he hasn't got those reassurances. And if he's not got those reassurances, why are we signing him anyway? We've because got him. because we ain't even reassured the number one player on the list. We ain't even reassured him. Forget reassuring number three on the list. 
We ain't even reassured Frankie De Jong, and and the deal is being delayed about for fifteen million. So how are we gonna go down? No, nah, you lot are leaving out. You lot are leaving out the key component. You're forgetting. We're talking about Louis Van Gaal. Do you guys remember Louis Van Gaal? At this <laughs> He's club? done a sabotage. Louis on Van Gaal, club. yeah, can say anything. He's pulled him in. Remember, these men were in London, ready to do the deal. He was on his way. He said, "Hey, listen." You know World Cups don't, they don't happen a lot. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it starts. World Cups don't happen a lot. What if we win? You won't be a part of it. I'm telling you now, sign for Man United, you're not playing for me. If I'm 19, yeah. You just get shook and you don't I'm listen. I'm scared. Yeah. I call my agent and I felt, shut it down. Do you I reckon, remember I'm a kid. And again, the way that he phrased it, he went, you're 19, you're young. There'll be other World Cups, mate. There you go. You know? Passive aggressive. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. There'll be other, there'll be other it's not him not being even his ability. Van Gaal has finished him. He's clipped his wings. And the only thing that will give him confidence is, you know when if other, like, if you decide we're all leaving class, like, I need to wait for someone to leave. I'm not going to be the first one to go myself. So yeah. you're a now, follower. You step, you're a that's follower. what I'm saying. He could be a follower. If you now step up and then you step up, <laughs> we're all gone. Yeah, I, don't know, thing, I don't know. But I, think I, think Ajax quite, I think Ajax are quite final on that now that he's not going. I think for them to go back on it, obviously anything can happen in football, but I just mm. think for them to go back on it, it's kind of kicking the teeth to the fans. The fans will seem to be rejoicing that he's going to be staying anyway. So, but the thing is, it if, wouldn't even hurt for him to stay, to be fair for them. If he comes and he really does well, who does that look bad on? Van Hal and the fans are gonna get turned on him. If Van Hal then decides not to bring him just because of this agenda of his, who does it look bad? Not him, not Man United. It looks good bad on Van Hal. What do you mean if he does Van come Man United? Care. Yeah, if he the comes games. Man United and he do, and Van Hal for some reason because of his agenda doesn't oh, put him right, in the yeah. Dutch squad, then it's it looks bad on their exactly. Team. It can turn on him as well. Mm. So Tim, whoever's doing the deal needs to needs to consider this as well. Marcel, how comes, do you how do you how do you see it? Do you see it as Timber needs to show a little bit more, or actually? He's just settled. This is what it is with Man United. You do need to convince him to come here. He's settled. There's a, there's a World Cup and he's just chilled. So Timber has to back his ability. Mm. He has to back his ability. As a player, you have to think, no matter where I go, I'm able to play at a good level and I will earn my spot in the squad. I think he should be playing as a centre-back for our club or would be a good centre-back replacement or we could play on the right-back. Mm. So there's, there's vacancies there. It's Louis van Gaal, obviously, because he, he had the same agenda for Ten Hag. He was like, listen, don't go to that club. That club is a is a, a shocking club. It's a it's a it's a you know a promotion. It's a ridiculous club. Yeah, PR machine. PR like machine. Just a, a commercial, commercial. Yeah, commercial club. club. So, do you think it's a mindset thing? Do you think it's is is Timber's mindset in question, or is it the fact that he won't get game time at United? Which yeah. one is it? Because it could be a thing where we don't want weak mentality players. It's quite a combination of things. Guys. A combi yeah, mm. a combination of things. About a nineteen year old right yeah, yeah. now. He's 19, like, what do you, like, Ten Hunk's a big man. He was in the press conference saying, I do what I want to do. It was very clear he knew who he was. Mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah. We're asking a 19 year old to go up against a seasoned pro. Like, he's looking at LBG like a father figure or, or, or even more. Mm -hmm. He's looking like, oh my God. And he's in total power of his chances oh, yeah, to yeah. be at a World Cup. Yes. Did he not it look hurts. at Ten Hunk the same way as a father figure at Ajax? Different types. Just like you as well. I, you're gonna be. You're in charge of everything in three months' time. I know it burns Marshall the fact that the the season that he probably could have should have gone to the World Cup and he could have had a winners' medal. He weren't part of it. And why? Because he we left him out. And I don't, there was no good rhyme or reason why he was left out at that time. But it must burn him thinking I was at Man United and that man won major things. And every player can look back at the time to say I could have won something. Look at how many Champions Leagues De Gea could have won. Mm. Yeah. If the fax machine was working. Yeah. But bro, he's a goalkeeper. I'm not saying that. And yeah, he would have done loads. Loads. He would have done sure. loads. Loads. So, so now you're saying to yourself, <laughs> don't want to say one reason. I never, I never mm. considered that as well. You must walk past fax machines and just be like, <laughs> you reckon someone tried to get him one for Christmas and he just smashed it up. Yeah. Smashed it up. This happening. is it. So, and Donny feels the same way. Donny's not in that team yet. Mm. It's yeah, nice. since he's come to Man United, he hasn't been in there. But Cam, on a on a level of um, the De Jong situation, then if if he does come, I just wanted to pick your brains about this and smash a like on the video, you guys, and subscribe if you're new. Just want to move on a little bit. I know you did that piece on him. Th this guy said he doesn't even want De Jong anymore. Fact. I was angry. So what? Are you Okay, so I'm are you angry. so are you refuting your are you taking it back? Then? I was angry. Yeah. Can you apologize to I the apologize. whole? Yeah. Could you apologize? Please? I, I apologize. I was angry. So you do want De Jong. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> don't shrug like that. That's a pivotal sign, and don't shrug like that. You should be happy. This is a. Cooler. He's trying to. He's trying to police your body language. No, but I was. I, you lot have to understand. I was. 
I'm I'm still upset right now. But okay. I'm just saying that how the killer is like I have to you we say it every on most streams, whatever the manager wants in it. Okay. But I've got angry and I've seen Arsenal do signings and I'm not yeah, it's 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 petulant. You said to me, I but I gave you so many I said you I'll say you're saying you, you don't did. want him. You did. You, so I said so if he signs, you can't sell him. You don't want him. him. No, I don't want him. Don't want him. Tell me. Him, All right, cool. Cam, how imp how imp if, if if we are riding out for this player, a lot of people are getting bored with this deal and stuff like that. How important can he be though, from a tactical perspective and what he can actually bring and how we can start to play if he's there? How important is he? This guy's crazy good. He is crazy good. He's everything we wanted Pogba to be. I think with Pogba, one of the frustrations a lot of the time was we we could see his ability, but he wasn't mature enough. He didn't play in the right areas. He took too many touches in his own half. Frankie de Jong is a brilliant footballer and that comes from obviously the education at Ajax, the, everything in his brain, he sees pictures so quickly, he's constantly scanning. I've never seen another player scan like he does. Mm. So he, he knows where he is on the pitch, he plays in the right areas. When he's in his own third, he's not taking 10 touches, he's moving the ball quickly. So if you want to be playing out from the back, if you want a guy who can get in the box as well, score goals, he can do everything in midfield. Can I ask you something mad? Yeah. What if, what if um, he has to play alongside like McTominay, Fred, like, of course, <laughs> like, but I'm only saying because, because, because say we just a disaster happened. I'd... No, I have to sorry, ask a tactician. Sorry, no, we have, sorry, ask, we, have, we have to ask a question. That's reality. It's reality because you know what it's like. We all know what we want. Yeah, oh, Donny's going to come back in. Oh, Mike Erickson. Oh, it's going to be a whole new look. What if he is just the only marquee sign and then we get some other little stocking fillers along the side and Frankie's the main no, no, one? No, 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 no. And then you have to play what near stocking Fred. Fillers? What stocking fillers? No, I'm just, what if, what if, what if this. As, as you said, as you said, look at this club. Like you said, look at the track record. Yeah. So let's just say, it's touch true. would we don't, could be but fillers. let's just say they're stocking fillers. Yeah, it could be. yeah. Man United, they're stocking fillers. So if he had to play Man alongside team. Fred or Van der Beek comes back, at least we know he's definitely our player. What could that look like? It's not looking good. <laughs> 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 what, with the Thank Ten Hag coaching, can't. show Scott like, oh, if you run around a bit more in this way, let Frankie do that, no, Fred, Run it like nothing. <laughs> Look at no, they can't play. They can't play next season. Frankie can't elevate think, them is what I'm saying. Like, no, I think, it, I think it's tough. I think we've seen for a long time now with um, the players we've got. Van der Beek, he's struggled because the players around him don't have anything in their brain. That's nothing. Mm. And if you're a player that, you know, you're anticipating other players' movements, he's playing, Frankie, Frankie de Jong's playing with Sergio Busquets, <laughs> probably the best holding midfielder, maybe one of the best ever. Yeah. And he's coming to play with Scott McTominay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, when you that really be say it in that, like that. Could he play with Donny? Could they do a midfield of him and Donny? But I know everyone talks about this. Is it possible him, Donny, Bruno, is that possible? I think the issue, if you, if you can keep the ball 70% of the time, if you have more possession, yeah, you can get away with doing things like that. But then you've got to have a back four that's rock solid. You've got to have a keeper that can cover more space. You've got to have a, a stop the keeper. Key. Stop the keeper. Please all excuse the keeper a bit. Excuse so, the keeper. No, nah, it's all part of it. It's all part of it. You need everything to be right for it. You need to have a whole yes. back four that's yes. rock solid. Yeah, and also, also as well, also as, also, as, also, as, also as well. Counterpoint. Um, what were you saying before we started about Brandon Williams? <clears throat> yeah. Right. What? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 Cam said something about Brandon Williams. I would oh, like what, him. What, were you doing a secret filming like the man then? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a secret recording, you know. <laughs> yeah, he was. He was, I, was like, I was like this, Cameras go, we're fucking burning for Cam. <laughs> no. um, in light of the ghost, yeah. Totally. Well, I'll die on this hill. Alex Tellez is one of the bottom three left backs in the Premier League and Brandon Williams is a better player than him. Ooh. Alex Tellers, there Brandon is nothing. Is, Brandon is better than. Ooh. Remember, Brandon Tellers Williams. delivered more than the low last season. Hey. Just want to say that as a, as a, as a fact. All right, all right, listen. Okay. Brandon is. We got. Right, we, go on. The bar's on the floor, okay? So it we're is. not talking about high quality here. The so there's, there's no quality. But no, basically, no. what you're saying is out of the lesser evils, you're telling me you'd rather have Brandon Williams at left back than Tellers. Yeah. Okay. Alex Tellers okay. doesn't even know he's a oh, left back. Let me, let me hear. Let, Alex Tellers can't do anything. And somehow he can never overlap and then he's always in the wrong place defensively. He's never, he doesn't do anything well. We've, I don't know how we've signed him. These guys are looking at stats to go and sign him. He scored a few goals, took a few penalties and we've been baited by that. We've bought a left back who takes penalties when we've got 
Bruno Fernandes, we've got Ronaldo. We've got players that can take penalties. He can't take penalties. Bruno but can't Brandon, take penalties. Brandon's a left sided player, but he thinks he's a right back. It's madness. <laughs> Brandon His, is. The Brandon. biggest highlight of last season was going to fight Ericsson, and he realised it was Ericsson went, sorry. That's all he did last season. Brandon. Yeah. I'm still more than Tellus did. What did he do? Tellus scored one of the goals of the Champions League, did he not, with his volley? Okay, and fine, then he, and he set up. And two, I think he had two assists. Two assists, Tellus, last season. But I'm putting that's a player that's not getting skinned three times a game. Yep. That's there true. was there was a, a long period of but last Brandon's season. Brandon's been skinned. Brandon was one of the reasons why we got knocked out of these. You these, read the league. There you go, Brandon, bro. <laughs> I was thinking, what? I was thinking, I've got some reserve thingy for Brandon. At and least Brandon like, Williams doesn't have the turning circle of a horse. Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Tellers cannot move. Come here, oh, hey, Brandon. Come here. Come here. No, listen. He's we, got the world. Wait, do we know? We've been waiting. Alice, I've been waiting. Been waiting. This. So, so, wait, 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 wait. You know what is? Come, we, come, we, we, we let go. Wait, hold on. Do you know what's funny about this moment? We had Aaron Wan-Bissaka and Deleu here, yeah. and we're back again on on. <laughs> on this, so this is a position Brandon that we're going to be arguing about for yeah. for decades yeah. to go by. Yeah, bro. I'm telling you right now, Brandon. The, even the fact that he said he's coming back to Man United, I was so angry, bro. I can't wait to be. You're not <laughs> part of it, bro. He's not, bro. You just say him because of the boxing thing. He never spoke to you. No, even I didn't want to talk to. I said, you're dead. But you're the same person. <laughs> I saw him. Bro, but you're the same person players. that backed one Bissaka for how long? I did. I and tried to. South, south, did you south, 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 in it. South and Crystal Palace. And I thought, no, no, don't do South and Crystal Palace. You south, back in it. I had to back one Bissaka, fam. And he was right. Have you seen No, that? he wasn't, bro. No, he was not. We're not doing that here again. He was no, right. Have you seen how bad that one, guy Not one. Remember, do you know what I said? Anyway, we're not doing it. People don't want to argue about this thing again. No, they want to say your point. They want to hear the points. That's what we hear. Listen, this guy said there's not enough games. Yeah. yeah, remember that? Mm. Not enough games to judge um, Delow for. So the right, and then after we did games to start to talk, 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 talk. I said, each week we'll do a watch along. I say, I wonder if we're going to get an Amazon delivery. Not one delivery. What is he good at, bro? Can't defend, I can't cross. Tell you what he's he's good at. dead. He's, he's one What's of the he best players at? in our squad at moving the ball forwards. Pass Who the is? And it's to do what? Move the ball forward to no one. Who fit? Johnny Wilkinson. What's well, better than that? player, bro. He's controlling it, isn't it? Bro, he can defend. He can defend, at least I can say, he, he can, can defend. defend. He, he held it down on the right hand side by himself with no one there. Not... What has your guy done? I saw that man just running the ball for his legs, bro. What was it? Zaha, Zaha, all of the man them said, hey, Brighton, all the team said, listen, it's him. <laughs> it's him. Don't even watch that, bro. It's him. It's not a problem, right? Okay, okay, He's time out, time dead. out, time out before we come Sorry. to the others. Come to the others. The problem that Don't we actually have, which is guy, quite okay. shameless. It's just all shit. It's yeah. true. Like, yeah. it's true. It's just the but like I said, it's the true. bars on the floor. Let's let's come We're to this side. Let's, Brendan, bro. I know. Only that guy let, could do. <laughs> <laughs> let's 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 come to this side. Um, Marcel Faz, and then obviously we'll come to DJ as well. Marcel, like in terms of <laughs> the the priority, yeah. So Camus has spoken there about the importance of Frankie De Jong, but yeah. if he has to play with Scott McTominay, was the point, and Fred was the point. What's the what's the priority for you? And are you worried that okay, if we're not gonna get timber, we're not linked <laughs> Faz is cooking. Um we're not we're not linked to any other right back. So does that mean we have to carry on with the likes of Dallo? We have to carry on with Maguire and Varane, where there was reports that Ten Hag thinks that he can <laughs> he can he can build up out of them too. Yeah, he's just waiting, he's waiting bro, for his time. Marcel, I'm sweating sat here, bro. This question is bro. Marcel, go. It's football fundamentals. The fullbacks in the modern game is fundamental to the way that we should be playing football at the highest level. So the fact that we just don't, we have incompetent fullbacks, we're in a big issue here. That's, that's the first point. Mm. Let's just make it known that, you know, before Liverpool became the Liverpool that they are, they were buying from Hull, free agents, mm. Schalke, Hoffenheim. The market that they were going for wasn't that elite market. The, the manager had that's to true. develop that player into the player. So it's going to take time, guys. 100% sure. These guys, we already know for a fact aren't good enough. We've had the privy of seeing them. We've all gone to the stadium. We've, we all speak about, we love this team. We, we know that. Ten Hag doesn't have that and he wants to give them a second opportunity. Mm. So we're going to be seeing some ridiculousness next season for sure. But... That True. is a priority. That's football fundamentals, our fullbacks. They're so pivotal but we're not to looking the game at nowadays. That's not the main... So that's well, not I'll get to that. Yeah. The main okay. thing is, is, is the DM. We know that as fans as well. It's, it's the DM. And it's really what Ten Hag wants as well is the main thing. Mm. So Frankie de Jong for me, guys, is so important. So I would say it's, you know, the, the DM and the fullbacks. 
Would you wait? Would you wait for however long, to, like, to make sure we get um, Frankie? Dion? Yes, hundred mm. percent. I'm very patient. It's that's the most important signing, Flex and guys. That's the most important signing. I'm so happy that we're getting somebody that's of that bracket now. Don't he be too happy. We ain't signed nothing yet. Yes, true. What do you think? Hold not the deal. So happy. What do you think? Hold not the, the deal. The price. The price, DJ. We don't want to start the. We don't want to embark. You got to start as you mean to go on. So if we and, and I'm a man that would say throw the money at it. it this is so important. Mm. This this signing is so pivotal. Throw the money at it. But then I respect other people's opinion that is if you you you, you want to make sure you get the right price now for the next deal, the next deal, the next deal. We're under a budget and just in terms of being respected in the market, we're not respected mm. in the market anymore. Edward has really just made us this guy that just I'm I'm maybe I'm most probably misquoting him, but he was like you know we just can do whatever we want in the market essentially. Yeah. Got a blank yeah, check. Blank Got Faz, a blank is there check. is there an element Faz that Okay, Murto is now in his position, yeah? He, to his peers, i.e. the other people in the industry, the other sporting directors, the other people doing transfers, is there not an element to it where he does actually need to undo that, oh, Man United rock up, we can pull their pants down, they'll pay anything, yeah. or they'll pay for a player who's not that good, or we tell him that the, or the agent says, you have to give him this much money. Is, is there not an element that he has to undo the shitness of Ed Woodward and actually play a little bit of hardball to, to get some respect? So... What my question is, is do we have to have a balance of pay the money to get it done, but also push back a little bit so you get some credibility and we can start rebuilding our reputation in that area? Yeah, it will take time. It'll take a good few transfers for us to get there mm. and make it known that this man isn't coming in to play about and put any number on the check. Um, and it starts with the first deal. It always starts with the first deal because then that is domino effect for the deals going forward. Because mm. then the other clubs or the other agents are looking, saying, "Okay, cool, we, you know, we, we can't just put any number." Not just the money on the thing, yes, the wages as well. Yes. It's a very yeah, crucial, yes. important thing because no, you're if you're just dishing out fifteen mil, you'll be dishing out a couple of zeros on the on the wages as well and the bonuses and and and, and all the add-ons and stuff, the add-ons. Yeah. We can't be doing that. So. He needs to be extremely careful with every single million. Like Owen says, burn through a billion mm. like this. Can't be burning through cash. We just have to be very, very clever. Very clever. In terms of what he said about the fullbacks and anything, there's certain players in the squad that don't, don't have the bone marrow to be a Man United player. But even, with, even now with Ten Hag. No, Who? you guys, let, let, me, let me ask this, right? Say some names. Let me, let me ask this question. <laughs> How much do you believe in Ten Hag? I believe in him. Bro. Fully believe. I believe in him. All yeah, the I way. You know you're going to get tapped too soon. All the way. <laughs> you're going to get tapped tattooed tonight soon. All the way. Fully, we believe, believe in him. him. Right. So he's turned Hallett from <laughs> what he was in West Ham to, to this striker, right? <laughs> KG copied his hairstyle. That's how much he believes in him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> listen, yeah. This guy, listen. This is, this. yeah. We'll do something about it, bro. Because it's, again, I'm being harassed, bro. This is every day. These guys are. Yeah. yeah. One man. hug. Two. Oh, man. Say one. <laughs> <laughs> Every day they keep getting on to me about my bullshit. It's not bro, they, bro. It's, it's bro. only one singular guy. No, but it's, <laughs> you need to do something about it. I will say it's, it's, your... it's one thing to do it like to a screen. When you are doing it in person, it is. It's, it's can right. you scare oh, a guy? No, that's mad what he's doing because he's basically saying, like, yeah, I'm, he's yeah it must, must be even worse for you because I'm actually here doing no, it in front of your face. Look, I did not say that. That's basically what he's saying. No, that's basically what he's saying. I did not say that. He's basically saying, like, yeah, it must be so much worse for you because I'm actually in your face. I get mugged off every week and week out. No, but you mug a lot of people often. You call him Community Crackheads. It's true. He called my dad the original Crackhead. <laughs> See? Wait, 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 wait. And I've got tell an update. I've got tell an update. us the update. Go on, tell us the update. So I spoke to my dad today, right? <laughs> happy Father's Day, Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. And I was chatting to him and I said, oh, you've become a bit of a cult figure after the shirt thing. And first of all, he sort of tremored. He went, have I? <laughs> and then I went, yeah, yeah. He went, oh, I didn't tell you about the other shirt that I got this season. Oh, he went, I got, I bought an away shirt and I did get a name on the back of it, but I never wore it. And I went, who was it? Can we guess? Wait, can we take, can we take guesses? Go ahead. Cam, who do you think his dad got on the back of the shirt? Luke Shaw. DJ? Aaron Wan Bissaka. Oh. I've got to think, what would his dad, McTominay? Faz? Matter. Ten Hag. <laughs> uh, what, what, why? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go with um, Eric Bailly. He got... Jaden Sancho. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not No, yeah. no, he's done it again. No, but at least it's a reasonable he, one to get. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind uh, of seat? Remember, but, his dad was before, before we started, KG was saying, look, I don't think Sancho had a good season. And when he said that, I went, oh, he's got Sancho. <laughs> 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 bro, because his dad's powerful, bro. He's on. What are you saying? His dad's jinxing. 
you weren't. You didn't watch that show. You clearly didn't watch the show. Have you seen the show? All the shirts. Yeah. Every single yeah, player. Yeah, they were mad players like Fellaini, can, can Jones. I, can I like... say about the shirt you picked up the other day? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Flex went, I was looking for this pink United shirt. And I saw it and I went, oh, oh, this is my pink United shirt. And I turned it over. It had Fred on the back. <laughs> and Flex went, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the salmon one? Yeah. We had it in 16. Oh, yeah. and yeah. Went, I yeah. always wanted it back because mine got dyed in the wash, like bleaching that. So I was like, oh. Yeah. But then I was like, oh, just maybe buy off Owen. It's hardly worn. I just, uh, oh. <laughs> and he went, and he went, and he went, number 17 on the back. Yeah. He, he, was like, he was like, is this yours? I went, oh, it was my dad. He went, okay. <laughs> but anyways, no, no, no. You said right, players that, you said players right, that right, shouldn't be here. Go on. Yeah. You all believe in Ten Hag so much. Yes, we do. He turned this striker from Premier League to this so-called striker that everybody, all of a sudden, got the spotlights on him. He's apparently turned this, turned this striker into a Ballon d'Or quality striker, has he? I don't think people think that. Disagree with that. Disagree with that. Right, right. The facts are, no. It's not, it's a no. He hasn't. Is he one of the strikers that every other team's hunting for? No, no he that? isn't. Hello. He's he turned... um, Dortmund to put an offer in today, 33 million. Yeah. Big deal. That is a big deal. That's a level up. It's a very big deal. You guys Bro, tell me. That's a big deal. How much million? Don't make me pick up the mic as well. No, That's a lot look, of millions there, fans, bro. I'm just saying. That's a big deal. He's, he's, he's flat to West Ham. He's gone to he's gone to Ajax. Now he's securing the bag going to Dortmund. If they, that's quite a big deal. Big deal. The spotlight is on him. The spotlight is on him. Yeah. So now Dortmund come and put a thing in, but it's not that. Oh, every other club. It's like Lewandowski. Every other club would want to pick him up, but he's not that type of a striker that everybody makes him out like. Oh my God, he turned he turned water to wine. So what are you saying here? Ten Hag not good as we think. So what, what do you mean? All of you are saying, or majority of people saying that you ten, wanted Hag... ten Hag as well. Don't try it. Hold on, let me. Because I'm let me to the man them that tried to revive this thing, bro. I remember all the man them, bro. Finish. You wanted Ten Hag. Let me hear yeah, it clear, me... bro. Do you want Ten Hag? Because we're saying us. Like you're not involved. 90% of yes. fans, and I took names, bro. 90% said they wanted, what's going finish. on right now? Finish this point, because I'm very interested right yes. now. You're acting like every single one of these players in the squad that are staying, Ten Hag's gonna flip. Okay. There's so many players to flip. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't make sense. Manager can come and flip maybe Rashford. That's okay. a big, big project in its own. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. If you let me you finish. You don't think he's going to fix... So he's you not going to be able to turn one Bissaka. Five men. He's not going to be able to fix one Bissaka. Dalo, Mateles, Fred, McTominay. Can fix Martial? Who can fix Martial? Sevilla couldn't fix him. They even said we don't want him and he was on loan to them. Make, make it make sense, please. Make it make sense. But Faz, it's like you're trying to like see <laughs> into the future. We don't obs- know. We don't everything know. Gets to be- every little thing gets to him. His own family issue is this issue, that issue. He don't even the look shirt. happy. The he shirt. doesn't even the look shirt. happy. You think he could be the guy alone up top carrying this team? Make Let- sure you bring the mic with you. Just, yeah. It's, it, it won't, please. Certain things, we just need to cut our losses. Just, we, we need to be able to just be cut through and say, right, these players, they, got, they ain't got the bone marrow. Let it go. But what about this? Yeah. Oh, just- shit. <laughs> yeah, can, can I just say as well the look oh, that KG had when Faz was talking to him? He looked like he was like a scared school child. He went. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I was listening to Faz. I was just, I think that's my listening face. But <laughs> wait, hold on. This is it. This is the thought I had. Yeah. All right, go on. Oh, man. I was looking at um, comps. No, 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 no. I respect it. Go I'm on. Already, I'm I'm out already. Same, I respect oh, it. Go on. Right. Go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> Who's you looking at comps of? Go on. Go There's on. Anthony or something. Look, the whole uni- the unison in everyone getting out City was crazy. No, it was of Tendon Mengi. Yeah? And I was thinking to myself, why were you watching that? Yeah. What, what no, because uh, no, do you know what prompted it? Mm. I know nothing's happening at this club. I understand, I know Mert, I know these men are chatting and doing all this other stuff, but let's be real. Are we gonna see people come in? Chances are, no. We're gonna we're gonna panic by the end of the at the end of the window. We're gonna go crazy, yeah. So I said, don't that. say Wait, that. He's gonna, he's gonna agree with that. Don't no, say that. No, because it's Man United, and I have to get realistic and have a plan. I have to go think forward. So I thought, all right, this guy is known for starting young players. That's one thing that he he will do. He gave the lit the captaincy at a, a tender age. Yeah, so he's gonna say, "Are you good enough? Can you play my system?" You will start. Chances, uh, most likely. Yep. So I was looking at Mengi, I was thinking, all right, yeah, when's it, is that um, Birmingham? 
Yeah, last season. Um, no, he's he been on loan. He, he, he went yeah, on loan. He went he went loan, yeah. loan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was looking at him, and he can play. On, he can play a high line. Yeah, and he's quite quick. Yeah, and I was thinking, it's desperation, but. Would he be a player that he would look at and he could stay in the team? Because Twan CB, we know Twan CB ain't got a chance now. We, is everyone out on Twan CB? Would it, would I'm not, I'm not, but I understand what you're saying. Go on, look at Owen's face, though. I, think, I know this guy's young, just... but is, is he going to be a more... We're not getting centre-backs, bro. They're not coming. So we have to be real and say to ourselves, if we only got 100 and something million to spend, and we know Frankie De Jong, we probably think Anthony or something, that's that's gonna be that's gonna stay the same. Yes. But no, Mr. Mr. CEO went and said oh, it could be hundred, it could be two hundred, well, it could be five hundred, it could be any money. But we know what's gonna happen. It's gonna stay the same. We have to look at what we could. How good is gonna? Wait, no show. CDM then? What no CDM? Because you're saying Frankie, but Frankie ain't the CDM. So what we who, have you heard any links of this MCDM that we're gonna try and buy? Not one. I heard <laughs> I heard us looking at a striker. That Nunes thing was real. We looked at a striker. We looked at a CDM. Unless he no one believes that anymore, yeah. I'm not hearing other positions. We're not getting two centre backs. Wow. We might get one, and I think if we're being realistic with ourselves, he has to look at what the what we do have right now. And if I'm looking at the youth, I'm saying he's he's a valuable option. So, so Cam, what are you saying? What can that work if we just buy a Frankie, no CDM? Doomed. <laughs> we're in big yeah. trouble. We're in big trouble. I think James we're... Garner. James Garner. Bro, you know what? I, yeah, I do play. really like Jimmy Garner. The first time, I think the first time he came on in the Europa League game a while back, mm. and it was, I think he came on with 10 minutes to go. And what you don't see from midfield players is at that age, being so young back then, he was passing balls forwards every time. McTominay mm. took a couple of seasons to develop that. A lot of midfielders and don't still pass the ball yeah, forward. So, yeah. But the fact that he can come on and he has the courage and the, um, the bravery to actually play the ball forward, put his foot on the ball, calm things down. Yeah, he may not be the best player in the world, but I think he can he can do things at United next season. I think I, I would want to see him given a go. Would, you, would you rather him go and play every game for um, Forrest in the Premier League and get that experience under his belt or would you rather him come back and try and force away? Honestly, I think he's ready. I think if you've got someone with the mentality that he's got, give them a go and see what happens. Yeah. I think he's... There, there's a lot of players where they're maybe not ready, you know, they don't they don't express themselves in the right way on yeah. the pitch. He's ready to do that. He's got the confidence to do it and as a midfield player. But last season, were you forward. not saying don't give, don't bring the youth in in a system like this when everything's in a mess? A new system. Diff different circumstances. Yeah. 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 Diff system. Diff different circumstances though, so Faz, is it not different circumstances? We were saying at the end of the season that they weren't getting brought in because they were being brought into the most negative atmosphere possible yeah. Yeah. in yeah. a team, that, in a team it, yeah. that didn't want to perform in games, say like an Anfield where it's a cauldron anyway, we're rubbish. We're going to lose like four or five nil. You're just, you're, it's just demoralizing. Yeah. I, I, there's, no, there's no development in a game like that, is there? I mean, when it comes to under Ten Hag, you've actually got someone who is the permanent manager as yeah. well. So there is a, a longer term vision than with Ralph. I was saying this the other day, I think Chief Flex about uh, Ghana saying that whilst it might be optimal for him to go on loan to Forest for another season, I'm really not certain that's going to happen because I feel like once you start looking at the options available to They're us. Let me put this out there then. Imagine the 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 briefing or the the rumors or the, the Twitter thing says this. United or let's no, let me let me frame it better than that. Ten Hag happy with his options as central midfield search halts as Jamie Garner is deemed ready. Let's go. Is everyone would everyone just be like, yeah, well you know what, it's young player. I'll be disappointed in a yeah. sense of I I do think we need we need someone that's a first team seasoned player to come into that position and complement what we have. However, I think there's that slab of intrigue I want to see now because he's clearly a young player that's been put through his paces. He's gone out, he's done loans, he's been successful in loans, he's become integral parts of those loans teams. Let's now see the, the intrigue in me. Okay, let's see. So now. if we just got Frankie De Jong and we didn't get another central midfielder because James Garner is going to stay and be the Matic replacement or whatever you want to call mm. him, the matter the mm. space on the bench. Mate, that's big shoes to fill. We have to become something. Big shoes man. to fill. We have to become, mm. we, right now we're like someone with no, we belong to nothing. We're not a team that, we don't, we can't buy players, we don't create players. Mm. So what are we doing? Yeah. You know what I mean? We like, we're stuck. <laughs> we're just in that middle space. So then you have to say to yourself, well, go young and play these guys but, and give them value and sell. At least we can you know say what, sell 15, 20 million at least like we have to take a we have to switch the model we're in the middle bro we actually have nothing we're uh, we're getting for sure players that. that don't want to play for us that's stupid yeah, yeah. then we we um we can't buy the extremely good players 
So then what do we do? We do we're the only ones that exist in this place. And then when we do want to get a player, it's like they're leaving Brighton for and we have to buy them for the most money. We have to go all in. Nah, bruv. If we if we're gonna start and say, you know what, it's gonna take us a long time to win a to um trophies and stuff. Bring in these youngsters and blood them, play them, and the ones that are rubbish, you can still shot them, um, sell them 15 million um, middles, bro. This team, that team, get rid of these kids, but we need these players to go. The thing is, I would agree with you, but I think we've all seen in the market there are DMs that are around for decent prices. We're not getting anyone, bro. So that's the thing. I'm thinking, my, my thought process is, well, United, you could have gone and got Kamara. You could have gone and got him, you know? Grabbing Birch Wentford, so cheap. Oh this God. is what I'm saying. There was players out there. So my question is, why didn't United go for them? T ten, ten Hag wasn't the manager at that point in time, especially when we're talking about Kamara anyway. Or um, I believe uh, Ralph wanted another DM at the time as well mm. that played for RB Salzburg. Or, um, yeah, uh, Mandara? Yeah, oh. Mandara? Yeah, I think so. So, the, But at the end of the day, I don't think the clubs could really execute those deals if you know he comes in like he did and scraps up the, the, the list. So what do you think Ten Hag, ten Hag wants a CDM right now? He wants Frankie, but do you reckon he wants someone... That's a bit more aggressive in the midfield. That's a good question. I, I think he, I think he needs to. He wants to prioritize uh, Frankie De Jong, and if there's and, and the books, there's so many midfielders there now anyway. So he's he's most probably been told that he has to get something out of some of them. Uh, that's Scott's, what I was been, of. Scott's been made a new, Scott's been given a new deal. As far I was as I'm afraid aware. of that. So you know, hundred grand a week. Yeah. So, do you know what I mean? He has to get something out of these players. He has to cultivate or develop their game. I think he'll game. be happy. I th I th I think if if. Um, if Ten Hag gets um, De Jong, and then we can get Ericsson as well, yeah, mm. I think he's I think midfield he's in the midfield area in the midfield, in the midfield area. I think he's he'll be happy. Yeah, uh, it's, it's on the table. It's, a, it's I still think he'll go to Spurs, but the doff is there, isn't it? He's he's on holiday. As far as we know, he's he's deciding do between. Do you believe? Do I think he's coming? Do, do you? Do I think you, he's if coming. I, if I said to you, no, we said it, this. Yeah. No, we're not. We're not. <laughs> but I'm coming. saying I'm saying if he did, but even yeah. if he just got Frankie De Jong, and then he had to bring Garner in, coming. Because he ha he really needs I don't think so. the forward, or he really needs the right back, or the full back, or what uh, the centre half, or whatever it may be, and he knows he can't get two because he thinks, you know what, I am bringing Donny back as well, mm -hmm. so I've got and I trust in him one hundred percent. And actually, if I can have Frankie and Donny, that's my basis. Then I work out how Bruno fits in with that, or do I? Does one of them have to sit between Bruno and Donny, and because I need a Fred in there who's going to run? Make Bruno more responsible. Yeah, exactly. So they, these are all challenges Bruno where, responsible. like what Faz says, if Ten Hag is as <laughs> good as we anticipate him to be of improving players who, ha who have a bit, Bruno should come into that. Yes. Like in terms of being Bruno. able to change, but we've seen what Bruno's, how he plays, it's going to be very telling to, to see what happens. I want to, I want to um, make sure we talk about this and talk about this properly. We'll change change up the subject. You Let me just quickly add something, very quickly. Yeah. Three things. First thing is he has to prioritize which player he's going to have to work with to, to bring into better form. That's the, but you have to prioritize. <laughs> Rashford being one of them, one of the oh, top. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, then yeah, Bruno, okay, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, X, Y, Z, yeah. like that. Five subs, so you're going to need as many players as you can because mm. if one of the fresh signings, God forbid, gets injured, we're done out. Or just don't start good. We're done out. Yeah. We're done out, finished. So that then all your system, everything goes out this hashtag window. Yeah. Goes out. Because you just be back to yeah, the Yeah, so you have, to, you have to consider all these aspects. <laughs> this manager, you know, you guys are thinking you can turn water into wine <laughs> and all this is good. But <laughs> when shit hits the fan, come February, what are you going to do? Play the youth, bro. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm all in on you. That's why you're saying just I'm all alleviate that pressure. And you can't, and you're not under, you're not in pressure if you're playing kids. There are kids. With the same way everyone talks about the whole Rashford thing and this, that, the other. With your own kids, if the kids are in the team and you can see what you're trying to do, I'm here for it. But go on, carry on. But that, yeah, mm. I'm, that's just what I wanted to say. Five okay. subs, we need enough players. If one of them gets no knocked and we, we're done. If, if a Ronaldo gets knocked, we're done. If a, if a, God forbid, Frank De Jong comes in, gets knocked, we're done. Mm. And and then comes um, bringing in the youth as well. You're bringing, bringing, it into, bringing them into a system that we ain't even seen. We've not seen mm. nothing. We've not even played preseason. The, the whole part of bringing youth is, is integrating them slowly into them. Probably in some cup runs here and there. You integrate them in a proper system, in a, in a good environment. Even though I said last season, let's bring them in because it's just my as well, right? Mm. Vibes FC. But now, if we're going towards a direction, you can't just bring in young players in and then expect them. Because come February, when, when points are not getting collected, then what? We're going to be turning on these kids. It's got to be a balance. It, it, exactly. does, have to, it does have to be a balance. No, so, so, just, so in terms of before we move on to this topic, I want to go on to, are we then, because it's been quite negative in terms of you're saying we're just not getting anyone, so look, we're going to have to just look for the kids. Are we not saying that I'm we're going to get... About some of the kids. Yeah, I know. I'm just saying, yeah. uh, con like, contextually across the tables, what are we saying here? I'll start from Cam. How many signs do you think we're going to get? 
I think we're getting Frankie De Jong. I think that's pretty much it is going to happen. It's just a matter of sooner or later. Okay, so one. That's I think, definitely one. Yeah, I'm pretty confident with that. I think Anthony will come as well. Okay. I think that looks it looks likely. And I think it's there's the striker market's too difficult this summer. There's no real big there's no real quality players like Nunes is a massive, massive gamble for Liverpool at that price. Yeah, yeah. He's, he could be a great player. It's one they can afford to take. Yeah, they can afford to take yeah. it, but he could be a great player. He might not turn out. Yeah. So he's a big gamble for the price. And if clubs like that have operated quite well in recent years, having to throw money at someone like that, yeah, yeah. we had no chance. It's not great. Yeah. So I think we'll have to get someone like Anthony. Okay. And so that's two. Yeah. I Do think, you think we'll get a third? I think we will. I think we'll get maybe a couple of defenders. Okay. So you think, think we'll max four? Yeah, max four. I don't see us getting a midfielder, which is a big problem, but I think we'll get a couple of defenders. DJ, how many? Um, I just think, and I know it's still early in the window, <clears> but <throat> I just think kind of from what's been happening with activity and the links and stuff, I think United will probably bring in three. Um, De Jong, Anthony for me, and some form of midfielder might be a low low name, name that we ain't heard. But yeah, I think so. So you don't think we get the right back or the centre back? It's more nah, of the midfielder nah, yeah, and the Yeah, it'll be the midfielder. It'll just be the midfielder. Oh, and we say. You know what? Like previously, I said I thought we were going to get four. Yeah. So that was United number. I don't think it's going to be four now. I think that De Jong's going to be the main sign-in. And then I think that those reports basically saying that everything else is kind of going to be bolstered by player sales, that really worries me. Because <laughs> what player sales? And what money? Because if we're selling Phil Jones for like, if we do sell him, what's that, five million mm -hmm. max? Yeah. I mean, Liverpool got, what was it, 50 million for Jordan Ive and Solanke. Yes, yeah, unbelievable. How, unbelievable. We need to start robbing people. When are we going to start robbing people? <laughs> <laughs> so, how many we get? I know you're saying your thing is we're not getting anyone, no one's coming. But no, who, I think it's just, I, how many do you think we're going to get? Give me a number. Give half two. You think two signings and then the rest have to be just players, kids and promoted and that? Yeah, just, okay. um, yeah, because the money has to come through sales. Okay. We're not selling Marshall. You see Marshall going anywhere? His stock has dropped so bad. I think it's gonna to be tough to sell. How many players? You, how many people do you reckon? Um, I think, think we'll get three. Three. I think More we positions. get. Obviously, the Frankie De Jong one. Uh, I do think we get another forward, a versatile forward. Um, I know Nkunku is going to sign a new deal, but that He's Anthony esque, out Nkunku esque, that it's like a multi funk I don't think we get that flat out nine. I agree. I don't. I don't unless there's a, don't just a crazy. One, yeah, we 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 need someone. Who, do we? We we need to. We, we if Ronaldo's not there, we if Ronaldo's not there, what are we going to do? Yeah, we, don't, we, we don't trust Martial up front. That. We don't trust Rashford up front. Who, I think who, Rashford, if Ronaldo's Rashford goes injured up front. with the hip flexor thing that always happens, yeah. who's going to? I think front? Rashford goes up front, honestly. Yeah. Or yeah. Martial, if he's there. But then and then and then it's talking about it in a different realm to say, well, it's a ten hog system. Wow, look at this Rashford. Wow, can't see this happening. And that's hoping for a lot because you lot are hoping. Yeah, just imagine. Just let's say the stars align and Darwin did come in. You're telling Darwin, big man, you're not playing. Ronaldo's playing mm. all of the games at mm. number nine. I know they say he's versatile and Darwin can nah, play. Nah, he has to play up front. He wants to play up front, yeah. bruv. When his first season, and I'm telling you right now, you're not telling Ronaldo, Ronaldo, we're going to rescue this game. He's starting. So do you think that's the reason why we actually won't get a straight it's number not, nine this year? Not our, it's not our key position to fix. We've got a big hole in midfield. Let's just fix that. But Ronaldo does need the help though. We all agree on that. And, remember, yeah, all the time and he will miss games. And he will miss yeah, games. he will miss games. So you're saying for this, because we've got stuff to fix, you just have to throw Rashford up there for a who, bit. Who Rashford, plays up Rashford. front? Who plays up front in the Europa League next season for United? Rashford. Do you think he will step Martial. into being a striker? Martial. I, I, well, I almost agree with you because we're going to have to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'm saying three. How many are you saying first? Two. Two? Yeah. De Jong and? And Anthony. Okay. The way that we're going about the transfer window, players are not leaving. Forget uh, this thing about players coming in. Forget that. Players are not leaving. Mm. If players are leaving, you can replace them. X amount of players have left. Let's replace them. Let's filter out some more. Let's get in some more. But we ain't even doing that. Players that are on free right now, we can't even secure them. A free, free player. They don't even... Kamara, free. Couldn't get him. Ericsson, free. Still thinking about it. So if you can't even get free players, forget players that we have to pay for. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like common, you put it like you know, that first, just, just like, <laughs> it's true no, basic it's true, logic we can't true. even yeah. you know this man was hospitalised he's come back he's performed well clubs are wanting him and we can't even get him a man that's revived his own career got, but is that because of the level of options, options that he has got like got if you look options. at Spurs they've got Conte they've got Kane they've got Son they've got Kulovesky they've just signed Basuma they're in the Champions League so you see now yeah, you see, but this is what I was talking about. It doesn't matter. And we we have to convince players to really come here. Come Big on. man, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can play with Fred. <laughs> Big man behind you, <laughs> Maguire. <laughs> 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 
You can get that great. You can get that great delivery from Dallo. <laughs> That's every fam. Bro, I'm telling you, this is. It's mad. You can't blame certain men that don't want yeah, to. Yeah, and, and in terms of Ronaldo, look, um, I don't. I I personally don't think he needs help. In terms of no. he like. He'll be okay. It's more the team that needs yeah, to be playing well. Yeah, he'll be well. okay. Get him the ball properly. He'll be fine. He puts numbers on the board. That's mm. all he does. That's all he knows. So if he has that, uh, if Rashford can just somehow find a way to play football again, we'll be we'll be a, a lot of place. And, and Sancho, we're forgetting. Sancho's we're forgetting there. what it looks like if, if them two players have good there. seasons. Sancho's at least there. He's, he's showing signs that he's getting there. Rashford was so showing signs of he's going further and further and further away. Yeah. It's like Stranger Things. He's in the upside down. <laughs> I, I, think, in the I think in terms Flex, of sorry, just Flex to doesn't jump get in that quickly. reference. <laughs> no, just, I've seen up to season two. <laughs> just to jump in quickly, I think what I saw early on from Sancho was that there was sort of like a link up with Ronaldo. There was a bit of understanding in terms of their play. I know it was very little, it was very minimal, but I think that's something that definitely Tenor could probably build on. And, um, I, tell, and I tell you what, quickly, yeah. I see Fred doing better. Yeah. Because later on in the season, very later on, he started yeah. having that Brazilian DNA in him. That he little bit really of well, Brazilian yeah. DNA. So really Fred well. will do, Rashford, let's say he's training in America, God knows what he's doing. I'm just seeing pictures of him running and lifting weights. He cut his hair off as well, bro. He's got rid of he the bleach blonde, bro. So that, so Alex used to tell players, yeah. settle down. So maybe that, that might be a big key for him. Um, Sancho, Again, he's, he's getting to his, his rhythm. He might be all right. But Galanca. in the back, mate, we're done. Goals are going to get leaked. What about Ganacho? Is he... He's, he's going to get fast track. He's going to get fast track. Yeah, Master, how many players I'll, I'll, do you think we're going to get? Oh, well, uh, before, I, I, I was saying... Something was saying to me five, but then when you look at everything, <laughs> the fact that Ten Hag believes that he can get something out of these players, you, that maybe drops it no, down no, to stick four. To your number. Stick to your number. No, hold on. Eric you Bailly, said six Eric at one leaves, point. Oh. No, no, five. I said five at one point. If Eric Bailly leaves... If if um if Eric Bailly leaves, if Wan Bissaka leaves, hmm. fingers crossed. If yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> if Phil Jones leaves, yeah, Henderson, yeah, yeah, Pereira, yeah. So then you never know. This four or five, list, four or five could really come in. KG, you, you said you're going to sell Phil Jones, really come in. Wan Bissaka. But you said to me it's realistic for us to get seven though. I know. So why is what he's saying no, mad? Because I know okay. that this club is. I know Thank you, club Flex. Is a and then, and then hold on. Team, I don't, I think no, you, you, look, I know. We, we, listen. I said you can do it, and everyone came into your into your messages and said Liverpool done it, Arsenal's yeah. done it. This team. I said yeah. you can sign seven players. It is possible. It's a thing that so teams why is can do. Being but at I'm then? saying that you're not selling the, our club. I'm talking Man United. Oh, selling those ones that he said. Man United happen. selling. Phil Jones, we tried to we gave when we tried to sell Phil Jones, we gave him a five year deal. Yeah. So why am I being oh. laughed at when I say it's not realistic no, to get you said seven? seven then, I'm saying that players. seven. You told me seven. I need seven. to know which Hold way it's on. going. You told me seven players is not realistic, and I'm yeah. saying there's teams that can sign. No, said. I'm saying there's teams that can sign seven players. There's no. I was arguing there's no reason why Man United can't sign seven players. You said I ten actually. I believe it was ten. You and said. You said if there's no reason it can't be done. I said it can be done. You said yeah. ten. I said when Chelsea did it, but now I'm saying that the players that he wants to sell, Man United, bro, we Henderson. Is uh, Henderson is loan. worth Henderson's worth how much million? 20, 20. 30 million? Mm. We, he's getting on loan, no buyback option. And we have to pay, pay the wages. And we're like paying that. the wages. How? Yeah, so, when are we going to sell Bill Jones and buy and one? So, it's unrealistic well, this Eric, season to, okay, to get Eric rid of nobody's leaving. Um, Eric Bay doesn't want to play. Marshall doesn't want to play for the club. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't. He's right. Eric Bailly doesn't. He doesn't want to play. Yeah. Eric Bailly doesn't want to yeah. play. Yeah. That's two there. Wamba Saka is our favourite right but now. But they didn't want to play. play in the they style. didn't want to play prior to this. Now it's a new manager, new everything, new system. Man yeah, but Wamba Saka knows like No, 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 but new guys. everything, right? But even Marshall didn't want to play. He's back. <laughs> He's here. This is what I'm saying. Even how he doesn't want to play, he's still here. Yeah, yeah. I've got feeling again move. I don't know who or what price or loan. loan. I don't know. Everton. Loan Everton. walks away free agent. Um, right, but because because we I don't <laughs> want to run out of time because I really want to talk about this while, while I have everyone. Mm. David De Gea. Let's go. Okay, I don't know how long we've got, but we need to do this. If it's an extra long video, then the people deserve it because we're yeah. all in one. Ten yeah. minutes. Okay, there you go. We've got ten minutes to talk about David De Gea. Cam. Don't need 10 I'll, minutes. Quick, start, it's all right. David, I'll, it's I'll okay. Start up there. Don't need 10 minutes. I'll start. I'm Marcel, are you coming over here for this? Please? Yes, I am, bro. Yes, I'm going uh, we'll to start with Cam. Then I'm going to come to Marcel. And then the floor's kind of open because I know these guys got the, you know, different views. There was some reports uh, a few days ago saying that David De Gea um, has criticised the goalkeeper and coaching that he's been getting in previous years. Um, that he feels that now he can up his game. He's looking forward to learning a new way of playing so that he can play under Ten Hag, etc., etc. I put out a tweet saying, interesting. I wonder if David De Gea can change what he's, you know, old habits, basically. 
What's your views on David De Gea going forward now? There is no chance he's changing. There is zero chance. He can't catch a cross, never has been, never has been able to. Mentality-wise, what you want from your keeper, you want an imposing figure, you want someone you can trust. The guy doesn't come off his line. It's terrible. It's so bad. Like The distribution thing is, to be fair, I actually don't think that's a, as big of a problem as some people make out. For me, the biggest problem with De Gea's game is that he doesn't command his box, doesn't come for crosses, isn't brave. And people are talking about a captain, what you want. Do you remember the thing against Arsenal when he was just lying there injured and sort of... Uh, the Fred, that, yeah, Fred, yeah. Fred, Fred his yeah. own player. That, that, was, that was bullshit. His yeah. own that was, player. That was, that was ridiculous. The, the guy is not a brave man. You can't have that behind Harry Maguire and Rafael Varane. The guy, yeah, he may be a great shot stopper, but there's a lot more to it. You've Maybe. got to be able to catch a cross. There's so many more things that you've got to do than, than De Gea is capable of doing. I don't, and the coaches he's had before... Franz Hook, he's worked with um, Van Gaal. The keepers that Franz Hook has coached before, there is not a chance that they have not tried to do um, improve the hair in these areas. There is no way that they've just said, you know what, just keep doing what you're doing. These guys have tried it and he doesn't change. Marcel? I would even go as far as saying the performances that we saw last season weren't even that great. I would go as far as saying Good the performances that Thank we saw much. last season weren't even that great, KG. I'm done. What? The, the, Edison, the, the Man City and Liverpool's goalkeepers are the benchmark right now of football. Can he do anything other than save a football? Can he do anything other than <laughs> save that, a football? Where's the rubbish? Put the rubbish one. <laughs> are you being serious? Can he do anything other than save a football, guys? That's his job. Can he do anything in that job? No, that's his job. 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 The best goalies in the world are doing the other parts of the game. So They're he can't improve, he can't but learn 10 half new methods. He's an old man, his game's he's stuck old, here. How is he 31? His game's stuck here. He's an old man. Do you know, his, do you know what's mad, yeah? Here. Do you know what's We mad? should have given Henderson the chance. Hey! Had, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Henderson, <laughs> hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. Henderson had an opportunity yeah. at the same point as De Gea had his opportunity. When he came in young and, and because the game's moved on now, he would have been able to have the opportunity because he's a bit younger to try the new Can't parts of the game that are involved right now. Right. He is stuck in 2000 and whatever it was that we had the hair doing the basic that you just think is all good enough. It's not good enough. You can't say last season. You have season, to pass the ball up. You, he, he can't didn't play, play that back. <laughs> he can't run out of the box to save. I don't never see him come out of the box. Cannot come out. He doesn't talk to anybody. We want the guy you to know? control a back four that doesn't speak to anyone. Wait, 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 hold on. Can you not remember who P.H. Michael was? Oh, my yeah. wait, 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 wait a minute, yeah? Let me just understand He doesn't this. command anything, KG. What you're, you're telling me to command something. You lot hate the, you hate the left back. Can I agree? Can we all say we hate the left back? You hate the left back? We can, yeah? we can get more out of him than we, we can get back. out of Let's just, let's pretend, let's carry on. We hate the left back, we hate the centre back. You guys hate, are going to sit there we, and let this man see this. Hold on one second, it's coming. We're, we're, it's coming, yeah? So you hate the left back, you hate the centre back in Maguire, you hate the other guy, um, Lindelof, sorry, I'm um, blue, dabby, dee, dabby, die. Love then him. after, um, <laughs> and, you, and you hate, um, and you hate, what's his name here? Lama Saka. Saka. Who am I commanding out all the things you hate? So do you remember the time when De, De Gea gets the ball, yeah, Maguire's open. He's open. There's a game where he gets the, Maguire gets in the ball, he's open, he's like, I'll kick it out. He threw it out because he said, you're shit, bruv. I'm not passing to you on your best day. Because he's seen what Maguire, Maguire's passed. The, how many hospital passes has Maguire given to um, David De Gea? Too many. These guys, Maguire, when, he, when they're defending, Maguire's holding sure, bruv. That's what he's dealing <laughs> with on a regular basis. Yeah. This I guy used to play with, this guy, was he, he was here for Rio? He's here. Was he, he's here for real? Yeah. This guy's yeah. played with quality, bro. Now he's playing with Maguire, fam, what? and then a broken biscuit. Okay. The hair, okay. The hair to what I will say, what I will say about the hair is this, yeah. And this is my take on him. Go for it, I do think that you know he is deficient in a lot of areas, and I think that he's been lucky over the years because, as you just as you mentioned, he's played with some of the best defenders that we've seen, and they covered a lot of his deficiencies because they were so great. And we yeah. played in a counter-attacking system. The game. It's changed as a, as a goalkeeper. Thank However, you. I'm not going to lie to you. The team deficiencies. For me, the hair, the, the hair thing needs to be sorted out maybe a year, two years down the line. I understand I that. Right I understand now. that. I don't De think we should even put any energy on it right now. Because the deficiencies ahead are real deficiencies. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> he's got real deficiencies as well. He, he's a real deficiency. He's got real deficiencies as well. 
he's just as bad. Oh my oh, God. For, for, you know what? I was just, I was just about to say I agreed with Cam for a second there. I was, just about to say, I was just about to say, the other day, me and Flex were talking and I said that I do agree that he probably, this season, talking about distribution, he can probably improve that. I don't think that's yeah. a massive stretch. I agree with you that the biggest issue is his starting position and mentality because that really can't be coached at this stage in his career. I mm. agree with that. But to say that last season he didn't play well or to say that what, what can he only do apart from catch the ball, save the ball? That is the primary function of a goalkeeper, is it not? I understand there are other aspects to it. The position has evolved. But at the end of the day, your primary function is to stop the ball going yeah, in the net. The net. There it's, are other keepers that are lesser than that. And no. again, if you put them in last season... We're in relegation. Unfortunately, I don't agree with you in, in, in terms of the primary <laughs> function. <laughs> very simply, very simply, very simply, very simply because, very simply because, very simply because, very simply because, you just applied for credit in the yeah, bank. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> unfortunately, you've been declined. Very simply, <laughs> Very simply because there's so much hey, more Mark, elements so to the game man. now. So polite, <laughs> even God. in being angry. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just got rejected a job interview. Yeah, you did. Unfortunately, 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 unfortunately you, you didn't get the job. 100%. You've been burning for a goalkeeper. And your goalkeeper. And your goalkeeper. <laughs> You've been burning for cash. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Uh, is so different. Go on, go on, so, Marcel. Have I been made redundant or have I still... <laughs> go unfortunately, on, I'm going to have to let you so, go. That's what, that's what <laughs> I said I was going to be saying to him after a year. I started off back in the hair. I'm unemployed now. <laughs> that's exactly so what's going to happen I've lost my job. So why, is he, why is it not that... You're, he, you're saying you don't agree that it's oh, the most man. fundamental position. It's why? not. There's so much oh, more important. Like, passing out from the back and recycling and resetting. <laughs> Simple basics, KG. He can't do. Who's in job the is Champions that? League. Who's in the Champions is... League, the ball got passed to him. Hold on. In the Champions League, the, pa the ball got passed back to him. And ja he took 10 years. And Jao Felix. And it, oh, it hits Jao oh, Felix. Mm -hmm. That happens a couple times a game. Every oh. single game. But it's what about the this is more important than him what stopping about, the shots. So when you when we become when we become when we become hold on hold on hold on two midfielders now hold on hold on when we become a possession based team and we have majority of the ball and yeah, it has to be recycled yeah. we're going to lose out on majority of the sport. Okay. We're not, like when it's not going to be about shots. We're not going to be facing 15 60 shots a game. It's or, always about shots. But no, that, wait, wait, hold on, no, hold on. It's so much way. No, it's exactly. You guys, you guys are forgetting the best start to the next level. No, but you guys are forgetting to the next level because they realized it's not just about the key Shot. He has to be involved in this football match. He has to play very well. I agree. 100%. I agree. So but the you fact that getting... you guys don't understand the next know, level of the game I is just that. beyond I understand me. that, but that's not the conversation Midfield. for now, is it not? Oh, I, no, but I've not disputed that. Yeah. Oh, unfortunately, so we you're agree. still losing your job. <laughs> so, you're, so you're still losing your job because I've not disputed that. <laughs> no, because there's so many. Wait, no, wait, Faz, hold on. Wait, let, let, because Faz Go hasn't on. even. Faz, cook. What, what are you saying? Just yeah. about you. You've, you've done a sit back. Let me just hear everything. What's going on? Where are you on David de Gea? You like Ten Hag, don't you? I believe in Ten Hag. You think he can change any player? No. Certain players are at a certain age now, and that's just how football but is. You're, I you're, definitely you're believe you said that before, that Ten Hag can, can develop players. Yes, I have said yeah, that before. Okay. Yes. But De Gea won't be one right, of them right. in the spectrum <laughs> okay. that is required that right now question. for our club. Okay, no problem. How old is Ronaldo? He's, he's very well patterned into a system and he's beyond Just systems. That, that, wasn't beyond the question. Systems. that wasn't the question. How, how old oh, is Ronaldo? He's about to be 38. Right. He's beyond systems, David. How old is how De Gea? Old, uh, 30, 31, The guy's scared of his own shadow. Right. You can't but, fix that. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. We'll come to you as well, we'll come to you. So he's too old to be able to change the way he does yeah. goalkeeper. Yeah, because goalkeepers, are, are, they've been training their whole lives right. in this craft. What age does a goalkeeper never, play till? What age does a goalkeeper play till? Oh, God, oh, very old. Yeah, very, old. very 30, long. 37, yeah, 38, very long. 30, yes. Do you think Some Van keepers, Hull hasn't tried to make him into a better sweeper? Very keeper? long. This yes. man he, is yeah. looking at a boss. Mm -hmm. oh, a broken, broken biscuit. Yeah. A, a, a guy who Jackie chants the ball in the box. A guy who Jackie chants the ball in the box. Yeah. Do like, how do you even know that he's not being told because the set other managers believe in the centre back so much that he gave him the captaincy and he's telling him, you clear the ball. Mm. Yeah, you don't have to come out. How do you know that? You don't know. This manager might come in and tell him, well, actually, this boss, he can't even clear his own line. You come out instead and you hold the ball. How well, do you know? Why, when Henderson played, did he start doing all those things? But Henderson didn't play, play that many games. games. Not gonna then go Hendo didn't play that many it. games anyways. It's always going to be the yeah, you can, you And can the see, other thing you can is, see a different style. It's you pretty must, obvious that the guy's you coming must to Henderson's not better than Hale. No, he's not better than Listen, the head, okay. but profile-wise, you can see he's coming out to catch a cross. How many times? I think he could have been better than him. How many times? I think he could have become better than him. I agree with that. What? How many times did you clap when De Gea made physics divine save? How many times? None. 
A lot. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a liar. I'm a liar. I don't clap for keepers. <laughs> <laughs> he said I don't clap for keepers. That's it. That's right. That's, that's, that's you lot at home. You lot heard this, right? This is your stat man camp saying he doesn't clap for keepers. The keeper, the same keeper that made physics defined save from the Titanic ship that was sinking. Yeah. yeah? The was player, down. Not was only that, down. this player got players the player award yeah. for what? Turning up to work? No, because the players know saved he us. saved us for numerous times. Stop and these two criminals, these two criminals, criminals. Yeah. Yeah. don't yeah. Yeah. The yeah. same player, that, the same player that's won trophies in this club, the same player that's played with so many different managers, the same player that's played with so many different players, and is still here. The benchmark, that's the benchmark. We were giving here. awards out to goalkeepers. Still here. Yeah, you guys would much rather believe in the hey, boss, well. the, the, the broken biscuit on this side, and the Mr. Fake Jackie Chan on this side. You would much rather believe and think they have some sort of ability than my keeper. Stop it with yes. your agenda. The agenda is not going to run. Fast, not here, fast, not fast. You, it's not running. Now. You, you brought up oh, stats, oh. right? Oh, it's oh, oh, you, you went into his realm, bro. It is. You went into his realm. Here we go. <laughs> Judging Thank keepers. you very much, all for tuning. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. Josh <laughs> said it was only five minutes. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Hold on. <laughs> do you know what? This is going to be the last bit because we do have to wrap up. But Cam, the stage is yours. Judging goalkeepers, I think we can probably all agree, is one of the hardest things to do in football. Yeah. Because it's Clapham. really with with a striker. <laughs> With a striker, you can quite easily think if it was a different guy in that position takes that shot, he, it goes in or it doesn't go in, you get a feel for it. With yeah. a keeper, it's really, really hard to imagine someone else playing that same position. And one of the things we're doing, in terms of keeping the ball out the net, there's a lot of, this is why people are using stats, this is why it's so heavily ingrained in the best clubs in football, this is why they're approaching things in the way they're approaching them. And keeping the ball out the net isn't just about making the saves. True. Statistically as well, if you're catching more crosses, fewer goals get conceded over the course of a season. The problem is, because if a cross comes in, the keeper doesn't catch it, you don't just think, oh, well, that's a goal that could have been avoided. You don't see it that way. No one sees it like that. Because obviously, you just, the cross has come in, the centre-back's missed the header or whatever. But over the course of the season, you add those up cumulatively, that makes a big difference. If your mm -hmm. keeper's doing those things, you're keeping the ball out the net. It's not, it's not just about the save specifically, but the goals you can save from that, the goals you can save from sweeping, getting off your line, those things make a big difference as well. And that's where it comes over the course of the But season. what happens when your midfield's hiding? Because we know there's one guy that is, wait, what's the, what's the opposite to press resistant? What's the opposite? Because that's what Fred is. What's the, what's the word is it? He can be pressed and he'll lose the ball. Then you've got other guy that doesn't want the ball. What's that's the that's the big issue. So we put we pass the ball into the midfield. You know you know how we play. Very it's very it's it's clear. Ball goes to Maguire. Maguire goes to we know what to do with it. Give it to one of the guys on the give it to one of the wing backs. Ball comes back to Maguire. A couple passes here and there. Gives it to um give it to McTominay. Yeah. By the time remember against Liverpool, they're already there. They're already there. Mm. We've lost it. Now they're running towards our goal. Goal. Every, literally that that is us in a nutshell the midfield don't know how to hold on to it and then there's a midfielder that doesn't want the ball so what do we do so how are you going to blame the guy over here when these lot is just on a common kick out don't know what to do and just to add to that as well wait, 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 just to add, what's the job of a set piece coach oh don't even no, set, no, 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 no. What's the actually, job of a set piece coach? Again, if you if you go back to the stats, set pieces wise, we've conceded very few this season in the Premier League. And they um was it down But you said crosses, Cro right? You said save the crosses. So you just now said <clears throat> we conceded not many goals from set pieces. And the person that the is, issue is midfield. Crosses are an issue as well. Um, but in terms but of set you pieces, just said we haven't conceded that many goals from crosses, in terms so. of set pieces, a massive part of the problem we you were having it. before you got it. is that the hair was going. Same. Look, look, look at the zonal marking. Look at how deep our players have to be from crosses. Well, you just mentioned the it's, it's, it's recorded. So, wait, so hold on. So what, hold on. What you're saying is, it, so what you're saying is, if if the hair was more commanding. They wouldn't all have to congregate. Oh, we could have five goals. No, five goals. He just said, he said first. Crosses in that and the other, and then he said as well. Statistically, now, <laughs> he said that we're You're not conceding the same way of crosses, now. and the issue yeah. is no, somewhere don't. else. So no, keep no, going, no. Baz. Statistically, ladies and gentlemen, if you come out and grab the ball when the ball is crossed, we will concede less goals. But then also, Man United didn't concede many goals from crosses. There's so a difference between set know. pieces and crosses, though. You must be able to accept that. But There's a difference okay. between set pieces and crosses. Right, okay. Open play is different to set pieces. We've clearly had a problem with set pieces for a while. We've got a new strategy for dealing with it. Put in the zone. But market when you thing. have a huge centre back, huge, he should be able to do the job before he gets to the keeper. Free. Anyways, when you have wing backs, they should be able to clear the <laughs> ball before he gets whipped in. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Time out. Because we've got to wrap up. A cross oh, shouldn't yeah. even be we've coming in because the set, because I... the wing backs are supposed to do the job. We've got to wrap up. We've got to wrap up. We've got to wrap up. <laughs> 
I mean, I think it's fair to say, I think it's fair to say that the energy in person is a lot different mm. than behind the screens. Yeah, yeah. I've seen Marcel. <laughs> I've seen Marcel do something I've never thought I would see. You know, he was calm, he was calm even the whole show, but when it got to what he really wanted to talk about, I saw a different Marcel. Yeah. I don't know who I don't know who that is over there. But I'm here for it. That was amazing. Um Cam animated. Cam it was he, he was camming. It's camming. You know what I mean? He doesn't clap for goalkeepers. He did. Always, I feel I feel honestly, a, I feel a top. Uh, how can I not feel insulted? Union, but... <laughs> DJ very balanced in his analysis, yeah. keeping it cool. I mean, rocking the chain, he's there. You know I mean, he's been leaving like, like how many minutes into the stream? <laughs> 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 um, and Faz just, just spazzing, innit? Faz Are you just not spazzing. fascinated? That's yeah. the word, Faz with the fascination. Um, <laughs> and oh, me, I'm, yeah. yeah. Comp FC. Oh. <laughs> Flip flop. Um, guys, I hope you lot have enjoyed it. Um, we're going to look to do this a hell of a lot more often. Yeah. Um, drop your views in the comments. You can see, obviously, when we come down to UVHQ, um, how amazing the content could be. But most, most importantly, let us know what you guys think about everything that's been discussed. Ten Hag's priorities, who we can improve versus who we can't. Obviously, the big David De Gea situation, the Frankie De Jong situation. That, what else did we speak about? Everything, pretty much, pretty much the Richard Arnold situation yeah. as well. That's still murmuring on. So let us know exactly. There's unlimited stuff we spoke about. Let us know. Smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Um, <laughs> and we'll be back with another full view. I don't remember we'll be back with one as good as this. Hopefully, very very soon as well because this is something. Of... There you go. There you go. Anyway, we're out of it, guys. Peace. <laughs>